Give it to Mikey. Mikey likes everything. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Bates and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. My goodness. It's been quite a while since I've uh, had some adventures here, but we're back! We're gonna do the thing! I forgot what I was doing, if anything at all, but that's just fine. I'm gonna water some plants here. Do we have plants? Forage? 100% full. What does this mean? Oh, seedling zucchinis. Yes! Yes, I'll plant a little bit more this morning. It's a zucchini kind of morning, let me tell ya. No deep fryer though, so the zucchini's not going to be as palatable, but it's pretty good. It's still pretty good. You'd be surprised. If you just uh, get some butter, fry up that zucchini, I'll probably end up eating it raw, just because that's how uh, that's how things are in the zombocalypse. End up, uh, yeah, not doing much cooking. But that's just fine too. Got some fish fillets, fishing rods, hmm, a little bit overweight, which is troubling, but um, yeah, I think I got plenty of room in my bags, maybe. No, not at all. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I should uh, offload some of this stuff. Whoopsie doops, don't leave the house quite yet, Dayton. I got lazy at the end of the last episode or something. Something bad happened, I don't know. But I'm so happy with my base. My cool fishing base. Started out as the fishing base, it is now the uh, unofficial base. The mostly official base. The somewhat official base. Alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Box of BBs, I don't think I need it. My Red Rider BB gun! I've got a shit ton of stuff in there. That's gonna be fine. Get rid of the rope. Water bottle I will keep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is that? What the fuck? Are, are you hearing that alarm? That's probably not good. <laughs> oh shit, is what I'm gonna say to that. What is happening? Why is this happening? Am I gonna go out and just get fucking mobbed? Alarm clock. Stop alarm. Stop. Stop the alarm. Alarm off. Oh my god. That was really not a good idea, probably. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? What the fucking fuck? Oh my god. Okay, so, um, I might be dead when I go outside. I'll keep this smoke bomb at the ready. Oh my good lord. That was such a bad idea. How could such a bad thing happen so early in the morning? I guess this alarm is like automatically set or something. That just ain't ain't too good. I think I put it away. Yeah. Oh, they took the time off. So I need to carry a clock if I want to uh know what time it is. That's quite interesting. Well, do I care what time it is? Not so much, but uh, I guess a clock would be an okay thing to have. So let's climb out of here. My baby cooking in the background there. And uh, it doesn't seem like any zombies heard that alarm. So I'm uh, relatively safe by myself out here. Oh, the time thing is there, but only when I have an alarm clock with me. That's quite strange, but okay. We'll roll with that. Some nice changes to Project Zomboid. I think uh, it would be cool if you could add something that, like, lets you tell the time based on the sun. You know what I mean? Maybe a little survivalist perk or something. Because a park ranger probably knows how to do that or something. Right? Maybe? 
I don't know. I don't know nothing, man. I thought I knew some shit, and then I just, I stopped playing for a little bit, and I come back, and everything's, everything's really different. Jesus. I think, uh, one of these houses, I had the, the oven turned on, and I was trying to light it on fire. <sighs> I think it was this house right here. With all these assholes banging around in there. Should we go explore? I think we shall. Very carefully. One step at a time. Ooh. Burnt. Yep, that, uh, that oven's still on, alright. I guess if this house is gonna burn down, I should take some of this stuff. And I'm really paranoid. I don't want to get fucking jumped. Oh my god. I can't do it. Ugh. Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? I really hope that house burns soon. I want to see what happens. I guess it's just that one lady on the bottom floor. Okay. I'll get my big boy balls, and I'll, uh, finish looting, looting this house, since it is gonna burn. Eventually. Um, I definitely need some Chardonnay. Mmm. That's going to be so good. Cola soda. Got some Dr. Pickens. A little bit of orange soda. Mmm. I didn't empty out my bags hardly at all. Did a really bad job with that. Ooh, some vodka. Some spootka. And, uh, most of this stuff is not so fresh. So it's gonna raise my boredom just a little bit. Oh, and I've also got a cold moodle. That's unfortunate. Where'd I put my sweater? Hello, sweater? This is probably a bad place to do this. Yes. Lovely sweater. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll probably get hot before long. Cause that's just how things go. Go for a little run in my sweater. And, uh, see if I could do something with that. Warm it up. Warm it up. When I say one, you say two. My god. These are the killing fields out here. I guess we're gonna go up, um... We'll try and explore some new ground today. Although, yeah, I probably should have a system for, like, you've explored this house already, Dayton, especially when I go away for a month at a time and then show back up and just expect myself to remember shit. It's not really how things work. Alarm clock. Little bait fish. I just need to keep myself underweight. Probably, yeah, we'll go back to the... I'm like a fucking... Like a mosquito or something. I just don't know where I'm going. My plan changes every five seconds. But I probably should go drop some of this stuff off at uh, the main base. Before I try and go loot anything else or else I'm gonna end up super overweighted and... Uh, yeah. Either break my back or get caught by zombies, which is not what I want. So, we'll do the safe thing. We'll do the smart thing. We'll do the cool thing. The cool thing is living. The cool thing is surviving. There has been uh, quite a few things in this update. I will review them before the next episode. And, uh, yeah, see what I can make of it. See if I can introduce some cool new stuff to everybody. Um, I heard a rumor that there was drivable cars or something like that. Which might be really, really helpful with getting to the mall, which we haven't done yet. And I don't know if I want to do that either, but... That's, that's probably something that, yeah, we should do at some point. Right? Maybe? Probably? It's gonna be fucking dangerous. It's probably where I'll die. I spent so much time building up these awesome bases, and then it's like, yep. Yeah, I just died in the mall. 
But that's probably how a real Zombocalypse would be. You're like, I need some supplies. Gotta go over here. Whoops, now I'm dead. Now I'm dead! Um, oh yeah, okay. My base is down this way. See what happens? Take a little breaky break. And, uh, your brain's breaky, brokey broke. <laughs> yeah. Here's my construction. My massive construction. That's why I'm such a good carpenter now. I didn't think that I would be. But it turned out that I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at this, if I do say so myself. If I can toot my own horn for just a minute. Beep, beep. Alright. Here we are. Now i got to find a place for all this crap. <laughs> Hello, house. Dayton has returned. Did you miss daddy? Did you miss him? I'm sure you did. Let's get these uh, fish fillets cooking. Hmm. I didn't grab that bacon. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. That's fine. Fast forward time just a little bit. Get these things cooked up. I like a, a nice fish fillet in the morning. It's not so conventional, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. All right. I I, I don't know where I got most of this shit. <laughs> My inventory is so full all of a sudden. Lighter screwdriver. I'll place these zucchini seeds away. Probably need to look through my doctor bag. I think that's where I kept most things. Chardonnay, cola, Dr. Pickens. All of that can go. Bath towel. I think I was keeping that for like, if I get wet or something like that. Y'all get wet? Oh yeah, son. That's PCP in there. Y'all get wet? Smoke this, man. Uh, wood crate. I think I got a place for that. Chewing gum, smoke bomb, painkiller, needle. My precious needle. It's never going out of my inventory. <laughs> I really need it. I don't think you understand. Beta blockers. Hmm, a little more vodka. Yeah, okay. I put the vodka on the shelf. That's where the vodka goes, right? No, Dayton, it goes in your tummy tum. Don't you want some of that vodka in your tummy tum there? Yes, I do. It's pretty delicious. Thanks so much. Alarm clock. Mm, can I see the time if it's in a bag? No, I can't. This is, this is, uh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, well, I'll put these tools away, I guess. Gonna have to uh, do some some thinking. A little bit more thinking. The house is creaking. I thought it was a plane for a second. That would be a nice change from the the constant helicopters, wouldn't it? At least they wouldn't fucking hang around forever. Alrighty. Do I have a, a can opener? Did I drop this can opener? For some reason, I take whatever it's coming with me. What is taking up so much room in my in my bag? I guess the axe, three pounds. I got about a pound of bandages, which is slightly unrealistic, if you're asking me. Hmm. Flashlight. Flashlight's two pounds. We don't need this right now. I got a lighter. It is lighter than the flashlight. Get it? It's a joke about weight. Because it's a... Uh, what do you call it? Onomatopoeia? Some shit like that. <laughs> it's not what it's called, I don't think. I think an onomatopoeia is like uh, a word that sounds like the word that it's supposed to represent or something. Like moo or oink. Or, yeah. That's correct. I'm relatively sure. 
I don't know what, uh, is it a synonym? No, synonyms are just words that mean the same thing. This is like a word that sounds like the same thing. I can't remember. Sorry. If you know, please leave a comment. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Those dogs. Hopefully they don't attract the zombies. Those dogs are always fucking barking. It's, it's absolutely the most frustrating thing that I've ever experienced in my life. Trying to record. Oh shit, dog's barking. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go over there and just throw chocolate over the fence. A whole bag of dark chocolate. And just say, enjoy! Enjoy your last day on Earth, you miserable fucks. <laughs> oh. That's okay. That's okay. Dog's gotta bark. That's what dogs do. Don't you see? Oh, he's got a rolling pin. He was a baker in a past life. Have I been in these houses? I seriously don't remember anything at all, so, uh... Grab a strip. Grab a strip of chewing gum. It's wintergreen. I guess there was only one strip. Okay. I eat. Eat half a strip of chewing gum. That's so sad. Oh, there's lots of canned goods here. Hmm, empty bottles, shotgun shells. Does that mean they have a shotgun somewhere in the house? I would really like a shotgun. Yeah, it's interesting that the, uh, the alarm clock in my bag was the only one to go off. Shouldn't all of the alarm clocks in the world go off at the same time? Is, is that what I understand? Cutting board. Gummy worms! Mmm, gummy worms! I should probably save these for later, but you know what? I really like gummy worms. Gummy anything. If you want me to be real honest. And now that the world's over, there's no more gummy manufacturers. If I could find a, a gummy workshop or whatever. Ooh, bling. Then uh, I'd be I'd be set, but I'd probably run out of corn syrup or something at some point. Oh my god. Zombies. I I wager that I haven't been in these houses. Since we've got some uh, some friends here. Let's go ahead and check this all out. Hey buddy. Yeah. They were having a little house party. A little house party, weren't ya? Beat them death! Yes, okay. Butter knife quarter. Oh, this guy's got an axe. And it's in relatively good condition. I shall take, I shall take. Because the bodies are one thing that uh, I don't generally check. Oh, digital watch. This is way better than stupid alarm clock. Here, have this. It takes up weight. It's a piece of crap. But my digital watch takes up no weight. I wear it on my wrist and I am good to go. Firstly, I'd prefer an analog watch because it looks a little more classy, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers. Not in the Zombocalypse. Wow, canned everything. Hmm. I guess I should be taking these things. I guess I need all of this. What's, uh, bolognese? Bolog... Bol... Bologna? Bologna? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that really how you spell it? I thought it was B-O-L-O-G-N-A. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. Oscar Mayer taught me how to spell baloney. Baloney. There's some bleach. If it all goes wrong, I can just uh, take the bleach, drink it down. Mmm, chef hat. <laughs> can I wear this? No. I can equip it. I can beat the zombie to death with it. Ice chest. Hmm. Paper lunch bag? Is there anything in here? No. It doesn't seem so. Oh, there's some yeast. I was talking about making some bread, if I could find some fluor. Hmm. I guess I take pasta and ramen noodles. Those don't go bad, right? Ooh, gummy bears. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. 
They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy bears. Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Except Friday, most most weeks. It, you gotta take a day for myself. You know what I mean? Or a month for myself, in the case of Project Zomboid. But really, I missed it. I was like, I, I should play Project Zomboid, and then I'm like, no, I won't remember which save is the, uh, the correct one. And I want to be able to come back to this world and continue this Let's Play. See how far I can take it. We're, uh, up to day 73 now. 73! We've made it almost three months. Well, we've made it two months. <laughs> We're gonna make it three months. I'll tell you what. But this series has been going on for a long, long time. And I got no complaints about that. Oh my god. So many zombies. Hello, Zombu. Wow, brains. Good one. I'm looking at you, buddy. Looking at you, partner. Yeah, and it seems like uh, the higher your skills get, the, the easier it is to survive. So, the reason that I was dying so much with Clayintosh is because my skills were low. So it took us a long time to uh, beat things down or whatever. And now it's like you can just brain a zombie while he's standing up. Blunt accuracy is high. Which I think is probably the way it should be, maybe. I don't know how hard it is to crush a human skull. I'll be quite honest. Holy shit! Oh my god. Almost done. Right there. Wow! They were so silent. They were just like standing there waiting for me. My goodness. Hmm. I could make a sandwich. I think I would like a sandwich. Slice up this bread. Yeah. Now we got three bro three bread slices. I'm gonna make a a fish sandwich. Mmm, fish sandwich. Put something else on there. Some mustard. Oh, the boredom is just getting worse and worse. Fish, peanut butter, and garlic sandwich. Mwah! Delicious. <laughs> Um, I could add some ham on there as well, I guess. Make it a meaty, disgusting creation. Courtesy of Dayton Does! If you guys need some cooking ideas, probably don't look to me. <laughs> um, I'll make another one. I still got some more fishy fillets. What did I do? Fish, mustard, garlic, peanut butter. Really, an interesting, an interesting uh, palette I've developed for myself here. Oh yeah, a little bit of ham. All right, that's looking really delicious. It smells like winning. Uh oh, I'm out of mustard. We'll have to substitute something else for the mustard. Hmm, what would be good? Oh no, we've got more mustard. You just had to shake the bottle. Or click the right thing. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right, we got some garlic, got some ham. Mmm. Maybe it would be good. I think the peanut butter is the only thing that really throws the sandwich off. It sounds kind of good, aside from the peanut butter. Garlic and fish. Yes, it goes together. It's fine. Keep yourself full there. You need to stay full up. Yeah. Candy corn? Ugh. The shittiest candy in existence. But there's some chocolate. Give me some chocolates. Candy corn and corn candy. I, I don't understand. What's the difference? Isn't that the same thing? Alright, so we're full up here. This is all non-perishable stuff that I've grabbed, so I should probably take it back to the, uh, the fishing base. The base out in the middle of nowhere, where I can have an alarm clock go off and, uh, nothing bad seems to happen. 
Oh, fuck. But I forgot to check the generator when I was back at the house. I think it... I think it's okay. I'm gambling that it's gonna be okay because I think I remember the lights being on. But, uh, I'm old. So... Don't... Don't take my word as Bond. I could just be going... Going senile. A bit of dementia, you know? And that's why I made a peanut butter and fish and ham and garlic sandwich. And mustard. And mustard too as well. Also. <laughs> Cause who would make that? Who in their right mind would make that? Aside from somebody who didn't actually have to eat it. I should have to eat all of the things that I eat in my Project Zomboid playthrough. But then I just weigh like fucking 500 pounds. <laughs> oh, here we go. First, first treat. Mmm. I think he likes it. Give it to Mikey. Mikey likes everything. Oh yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Feeling a little sad after your culinary creation. Well, look, little Dayton. I tried. Okay. You're not. You're not helping me out here. I could just set this thing on autoplay or whatever, and you should go do whatever you do out in the woods. Oh yeah, out in the woods. You should forage some more stuff. <clears throat> Foraging is a very good thing. Although I am scared to eat the berries. <laughs> Every time I find berries, I'm like, yeah, it's probably going to kill me. Probably shouldn't eat it. I don't think I want that. Well, I, I wrapped up all my fishes in sandwiches. So I think I should probably try to catch a little more. That would be good. But first I gotta drop off all of this delicious goodness, except the candy corn, which is not delicious at all. Can you keep mustard out of the fridge once it's opened? It's probably not a great idea. I'm gonna finish eating this clove of garlic. Wow. You probably shouldn't do that either. <laughs> None of what you're doing right now is suggestible. I wouldn't recommend any of this. Well, I don't actually have to do it, so I guess it's okay. Oh my god, I only used up one fish fillet. Whatever. I still want to go fishing. I like fishing. It relaxes the body and mind while you're uh, out here fighting for your life. It's a good thing. Hashtag Martha Stewart. Wow, my... My bag is still just so full. Oh, I've got two axes, that's probably why. Here, Shelf, hold these for me. And then here's my canned bolognese and dry pastas. I'm really trying hard to keep this shit organized, but it's... It's not easy. <laughs> Especially when you walk away from the game and you're like, Eh, I'll remember when I get back. No, you won't. You really won't. Still got some watermelon slices. Nope, don't put those in. Put the tuna. Tuna and yeast. There we go. Now the bags are a little bit lighter, slightly, not really. Some mugs. Hmm. I don't see what's taking up so much weight. It must be the watermelon slices. Yep, yep, yep. And the, uh, the sticks of gum. Hmm, that's pretty good. Takes care of hunger and thirst because it's a melon made of water. Who would have thought it? Oh my god, life is amazing. Get this fishing rod ready. And uh, we'll do a little bit of fishing. A little bit of fishing. That's what I like to do late in the day. Scavenge early in the morning, fish late in the day. And then, uh, yeah, I can cook it over a campfire because I know how to do that. Now, I remember, uh, I was doing some experimenting. Oh, I need, I need my fishies. Where are my bait fishies? There we go. I don't want to check my traps quite yet. So we'll just do a little bit of, uh, fishing with what I already got. Yeah! That's nice. Did I catch something? Nothing. Nothing yet. That's alright. Wow. 
You fish really fast, little Dayton. I think you're supposed to keep the, the shit in the water for like a couple of minutes at a time. Just if you wanted to. More shoes. Shoes and socks. Um, stop. Alarm. Thank you, Digital Watch. You've been <laughs> quite kind. So helpful. Beep, 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 beep. You caught a fish. Beep, 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 beep. Great for me. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm, could I catch another one? Am I the greatest fisherman of all time? I bet I am. I could be the best ever in life. Hmm. I should turn the watch off on this digital shit. Or maybe just, just set it. Set it for the morning time. You think anything bad's gonna happen at 6 a.m.? Oh, here's how you turn the alarm off. Okay, good. I don't need that shit, alright? Think I need to be reminded? Alrighty. Let me cut some fishes up. Wow, I am quite overweight. Gotta hold my doctor bag. So I'm not, uh, breaking my back here. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, isn't that? Um, yeah, heavy load. It's just a heavy load. It's not like a back-breaking, horrible, terrible thing. And I think, uh, I'm gonna go to one of these houses. You could cook the fish over the campfire, but, um, really, really, it, it's more, uh, civilized if you, if you use a stove. Like a human. It makes me feel like I'm still a human being, okay? So we'll cut these up real quick. Slice fillets, fillets, as Gordon Ramsay would say. I'll shove these in. Oh, it's two fillets from a fish. I guess that makes good sense. So I had already caught some, but uh, we caught a little bit more. Is that a thunderstorm? It sure is. Wonderful. So this is where we're staying for the night. Oh my god. Can I can I see this? I guess I'll just keep cooking. Just keep keep cooking. It's almost there. Oh my god. That is horrible. What a horrible thunderstorm's going on out there. Hmm. Fresh cooked fillets. I guess I should eat the old ones first or something, maybe, and uh, that's a healthy dinner. That's a nice healthy dinner of fish, and uh, we're going to go to bed relatively early. It's 7 o'clock, but uh, that, that seems like a good time to go to bed, so I'll wake up early and start my day. Hell yeah. Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Make sure to close those curtains before you go to sleep so you don't have any peeping toms. <laughs> if you do, remember to like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode. I will send you a digital watch of your very own. The alarm is set to 5 o'clock uh, for a reason I'm not sure of. Turn the lights out. And nighty night. <laughs> Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend